Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It is 9 a.m. We are up for the day. I just finished feeding Alice. Um, I actually slept okay last night, which I did not expect from the first half of the night. Miss Girl was cluster feeding from like 9 p.m. to midnight. It was just what felt like an endless cycle of like, okay, well, I think she's done. I'll put, oh, nope, she's She's not going to sleep. She's hungry again. So by midnight, I was like, all right, I'm ready. I'm gearing up for this to be the, the whole night. And then a little after midnight, I put her down and she went to sleep. And then she slept for like almost a five hour stretch. So I was very happy about that. Um, and then I just fed her again at five, put her back down, slept for another like two, two and a half hours. So in the end, I actually got like seven hours of sleep. So really not bad. Not too bad at all. But I definitely still want coffee. You're kind of rooting around some more, huh? I thought you were done. Oh. All right, I'm feeding her again, round two, and uh, then coffee. Who wants a smoothie? Me. Me, 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 me. Is this pre-washed? Triple wash. All right. <laughs> Grace is holding Alice. I just heard her say, oh, I love you, girly pop. I'm like, is that something I've said? <laughs> it must be. <laughs> you did? Great job. All right. We're gonna start the blender in three, two, one. I dumped out a little bit because it was a little too watery. I was like, oh, I'll add some more yogurt. Swear to God, I came about this close to grabbing sour cream and putting that in instead of the Greek yogurt. Yeah, that would uh, that would not be quite as good. Would have been a big oopsie. Fully took it out of the fridge and everything. <laughs> All right, round two. That is looking much better. There you go. Ooh, thank you, thank you. And Gracie. Should we go shopping and buy some food? Yes. Let's do it. I can buy a blue tongue and you can buy a pink tongue. Wow, we need to buy so much food. <laughs> yes. Mm. You're good out here? I'm good to shower? Yep. All right. I will see you in a bit. <laughs> A troll, the thing is failing me, there's so many. There are so many, I'd love to share with you. Super dad. All right, I am showered, I'm dressed, doing a little bit of skincare. I feel like my face looks puffier than usual this morning. I don't know what it is. Maybe it'll like settle down a little bit after I do some skincare and I'll put on like some of those cooling eye gels. I just feel very puffy this morning. Maybe I just need to like spend a little bit of extra time like massaging my face with my moisturizer. I'm not supposed to be like good for drainage or whatever. <laughs> Oh, maybe I should use my little face roller. I haven't used that in a while. Oh, it's not in there. Thought it was in my skincare fridge, but it's not. I don't know why I'm surprised because that's like one of Grace's favorite things to play with in here. So no wonder, no wonder it got moved. I put Alice to bed uh, in the snow right before I hopped in the shower because she'd been awake for like an hour and she was starting to look sleepy. And I thought she went down, but she's making some noises in there. So perhaps not. Maybe I should just talk a little bit quieter. Um, I'm putting on some sunscreen. I love this one from Supergoop, the Unseen sunscreen. It's just like the best formula. It goes on so smooth. I feel like it doesn't clog my pores. It's like really hydrating. It is expensive though. So if anyone has a good dupe, I know there are quite a few dupes out there. Um, let me know. I've been wanting to try the Trader Joe's dupe for this because it's like a third of the price and people say the formula is really similar. But every time I go there, it's not there. <laughs> I don't know if they like discontinued it at my location or if it just sells out really fast, but I've never been able to find it. I've heard that one's really good though. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of eyebrow gel. This is the Glossier Boy Brow. Most days, this is the only makeup that I wear, but I feel like it really makes a difference. Just like defining my brows a little bit more, fluffing them up. I, I like the effect it gives. Some of this Dior lip oil. 
Then I'm gonna use these uh, Patchology, uh, if I can open it. <laughs> there we go, these Patchology under eye gels. Patchology just sent me a big PR package with a whole restock of these and some of their other eye gels and face masks. Big thank you to Patchology, my puffy under eyes say thank you. <laughs> um, I kinda wanna do something with my hair. I washed it yesterday, so I just like got it a little bit wet, detangled it. I grabbed this little bandana cause it goes with my outfit today. And I used to wear bandanas like this in my hair all the time. And I just felt like they were so cute and they were also functional in like keeping some of the hair out of my face. But I kind of stopped doing that. I think I want to start doing it again, especially for the summer. I feel like it's so cute. So I just fold it into a triangle and then roll it up like so. Maybe I should do half up and then the bandana. Okay, that's cute. I like that. The green is, uh, it's its maybe giving a little bit, a little bit Cadet Kelly, but I think less so with like the whole outfit. Let me show you. This is the outfit. I've got this cute little floral maxi skirt from Torrid. Green ribbed tank top is from Old Navy. And then this bandana, I don't know. I've had it in my closet forever. And the, uh, the good old Birkenstocks. Cute little Aaron's outfit. I feel comfy. I feel cute. It's kind of like whimsical, gardeny with the maxi skirt. Okay, I think Alice went down, so I'm just gonna vlog in here for a little bit so I don't disturb her. Um, but I have not been feeling excited or inspired about like clothing, getting dressed, fashion at all lately. Like remembering a time where clothing felt fun for me just feels so far off. Like postpartum and also just like since the end of my pregnancy, I feel like it's just been like, let me just wear something that's comfortable and safe <laughs> that I've worn a million times before and that like I don't have to even think twice about, which is, you know, that's fine. Sometimes we're in stages of life where getting dressed is purely utility. Like I've, I've, I have to wear clothes, so let me just pick something as fuss free as possible. But I'm, I'm really starting to miss how much fun I used to have with fashion and how good it feels to put on an outfit that you love and don't just like tolerate. <laughs> so I don't know. I think I want to start trying to to push myself a little bit more to find ways to have fun with clothes again while still you know being comfortable because at this stage of my life i do need a lot of comfort and function for my clothes but that doesn't mean they can't also be fun i was talking with rachel about that the other day and she's kind of going through the same thing which it's it's really nice to have a friend in the postpartum stage at the same time as you um but we were we were just casually talking about how that would, could be a fun video to do when i'm back from maternity leave like something of like just finding ways to have fun with fashion again. So if that's a video that you would want to see or if you have any ideas in that realm, definitely let me know in the comments. For now, for today, I feel like this is still a fairly safe outfit, but it's not just leggings and a t-shirt. It's, it's a little more, a little different, a little more fun. So I'm calling that a win for today. <laughs> also, sorry if the lighting in here is bad. One of the lights went out up there and we need to replace it, but we haven't yet, so. Wait, now it looks better. <laughs> it was like so dim earlier. I guess all I needed to do was move the camera a tiny bit and there we are. <laughs> but uh, now that I'm ready, I think whenever Alice wakes up from her nap, I'm just gonna feed her again and then head out for some errands, bring the girlies with me. I need to go to the garden store, which is always just like a really fun outing. That's like one of Grace's favorite places. Um, and then I need to go to Target for a few things and pick up a prescription. So I'm hoping I can do all three of those things in like a two to three hour window. That way I can feed Alice before we go. We can go do everything and then I don't need to feed her again until we get back. It's not a big deal to feed her out on the go, like especially if we're at a park or something where there's a bench and I can like sit, get comfortable, feed her. But I feel like, I don't know, when I'm out running errands and not like at a specific place with seating, I'm like, I don't know what the, the best course of action is for feeding her. Cause like I could just feed her in the car, like park and then bring her up to the front and feed her there. But I feel like that would be really boring for Grace. That's probably gonna be the best case scenario if I have to feed her. Or I could like, we could go out to eat or something or like go to a cafe, get a table and sit and feed her there. But like, if we're just at Target and the pharmacy and the garden store, like 
there's not really a place to to sit and feed her if I need to. So I don't know. Ma mom's on the go. Let me know what you do. <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable feeding her in public and on the go, but I feel like we're usually at a place where there's places to sit. We're usually doing things or going places where there is like a an easier, more convenient spot to breastfeed other than sitting in my car. But I mean, hey, maybe that maybe that'll work out. Or also maybe I'm overthinking this for nothing because we're gonna be home in three hours. <laughs> also, I've come to learn that like little crop tops like this perfect for breastfeeding because they just pull up so easily. There's not a lot of fabric to mess with. And then I just have like a clip down nursing bra underneath so I can just pull, unclip, and then also because the skirt is so high-waisted, I don't feel like I'm exposing a lot of extra skin, which sometimes makes me feel a little uncomfortable. So this is uh, this is a pretty good breastfeeding outfit too. It's Steven! Hey. Uh, a rare clip, a, a rare moment of both of us together lately. Yeah, yeah. Grace, Grace is, oh. Grace is playing. Alice, Alice is sleeping. sleeping. <laughs> Sierra's showered and pretty looking dad is um, not looking so good. Well, you're gonna have a good chunk of alone time here. I know, I got, I got a lot to do today, so I finally finished like last, eh, not last week, no, yesterday. <laughs> I finally finished the some of the irrigation for the gardening. That's all done, so I gotta go finish that for some of the beds that don't have plants in it yet, because I think that's gonna change. Yes. Uh, yeah, I was, I'll was. i talk more about it later, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be, unfortunately, <laughs> for the first time, buying seedlings instead of raising everything myself from seed. And you're filming something for the vlog. I am. Steven's first time doing a sponsor, so get excited. And it works out today, especially, because today's a busy day for me. So like, usually it's like I could leave the house, but I don't think today I'm, that's why I want you to take UPS. I'll go to UPS. All right, you you anyways, have it at home day. Okay, I Alice, gotta go get Alice. Alice is begging. I gotta go get her, feed her, and get out of here. Okay, so the garden. I was ready to be so on top of the garden this year. Like we cleared it out and everything before Alice was born. I did all the seed starting indoors, nice and early. Like I was just ready for the garden to be popping off. But unfortunately, some bugs had other plants. <laughs> like over half of the things that I planted in the garden, both the seeds and the seedlings that we started indoors when I transferred them into the garden were just getting eaten like overnight, like the first day that I planted them. And then with the seeds, like half the stuff I was planting just was never sprouting. And I was like, is this an issue with like the soil health? Is it the weather? Like what is going on? Because I would plant the seeds, I would water them and then nothing would happen. And that was happening with everything in the first garden bed and like half the stuff in the second garden bed. And then the third and fourth garden beds were like, a little bit better like our carrots and radishes are doing really well the sunflowers that i planted are doing really well but like the cantaloupe seedlings that i transferred were uh, I, pl I planted them i was like this is so exciting the very next day i came out completely gone so something was eating our garden i didn't know what the only pest issues we've really ever had were the tomato hornworms and then also like a little bit from snails but that was all like later in the gardening process like once the plants were fruiting this was a totally different issue so i started looking into it really examining our garden googling things watching lots of gardening youtube videos and i have come to the conclusion that i think I think the issue is a overpopulation of roly-polies. Sorry, the camera died. Steven replaced the battery for me though. Thank you, Steven. You are so welcome there. <laughs> Someone got good sleep last night. Oh my God. I got and it amazing. wasn't me. I got amazing sleep. The last two nights, I averaged like five hours a night. No, four hours a night. On Alice duty. And I kind of turned into an ass. <laughs> but this morning, last night, eight and a half hours, Let's go! You've been like the most energetic I've ever, I've seen you in like 10 years. <laughs> Outside of being at Disneyland, that's different Steven energy. Anyways, I have come to the conclusion, I'm like 80% sure the culprit is roly polies, AKA pill bugs, as some people call them. I really didn't know that these could do damage to a garden. Like we have a ton of them out there in the garden and I, I just thought, oh, that's fun. Like cute little roly polies, Grace loves to see them. Sorry, switching sides. Little did I know, they were what was causing all of my seeds to be duds. So I researched some ways to, to take care of the roly poly problem. 
I've decided to go with something called Sluggo Plus, which is a, a natural pesticide that works really well against roly polies. I've been hesitant to use any pesticides in the garden because I love keeping it as natural as possible and like being able to go out there with grace and just like pick things and eat them right out in the garden. But from everything I've read, this is like the most effective natural option. So we're gonna buy some of that today, try it out. And then I'm also gonna get uh, some seedlings from the nursery reluctantly to uh, replace the ones that got destroyed. I think it's just a little late to start over from seed again, but it's it's been a point of pride for me that my garden has always been exclusively started from seed. So not gonna lie, I'm a little bummed and pissed off at those dang roly polies, but I still, I still wanna make sure that the garden is popping off by the summertime, so we gotta do what we gotta do. All right, the girls are finally out of the house. They left like an hour and a half late. Um, it was just a whole thing, but we gotta figure it out. They're out of here. I was just doing some uh, dishes, and now I'm gonna pause, because I wanna get outside and finish some of the gardening stuff before Sierra gets back with some new plants. I finished like irrigating the beds that the plants survived in, um, but there's some beds the plants didn't survive, so I didn't irrigate those yet. So now that we're gonna bring home some plants, I need to finish that up. But before I go outside, I wanna have lunch, and I'll go in the garden, and then I can finally shower. And depending on the time, I might be able to play some games before the girls get back. <clears throat> but speaking of lunchtime, it's actually convenient. So today we have Factor in the fridge, and then Factor's actually sponsoring this vlog, so I was like, hey Sierra, I could go ahead and give the Factor spiel real quick today. She's like, sure, go for it. So here we are. Boom. We've been having Factor come to the house for like over a few months now. And like when I was working from home, it was really valuable because it's the convenience and like actually very good quality, very quick meals. And now in this like Alice era with a one month old, you know, having chef prepared meals that are high quality and taste good. And the convenience of them being ready in two minutes has been extremely valuable, like especially like today where it's like, I had this schedule now it's even compressed further, has been really valuable, but overall, I've been really happy there's there's a wide variety which from my personal like taste and comforts I like having variety in my food whereas like Sierra's the opposite um Sierra likes finding like a few good things and like that is hers whereas I like have, I feel like I always have to be eating something different to kind of keep me interested all right so I'm gonna go start this guy and if you're interested in factor you can head on over to factor75.com or click the link below and use code Sierra 50 to get 50% off your first box from factor and 20% off your next month's worth of orders let's go first my little ancho lime crema sauce. And we'll go throw this guy in. Alrighty, just getting it out. A little crema sauce. Here I have turkey chili with zucchini. Mm. I am gonna hit this guy real quick. After that, mm -hmm. we'll go outside and work on the garden. And then I'll get all dirty. And then I'll go finally take my first shower of the day. All right, you don't need to watch me eat. I'll see you later. I just came out here to evaluate where I am. I'm working on the garden beds. Let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm putting in these little irrigation lines. It kind of looks like this, this little stake, a little adapter, and I'm hitting in my head down there. This is what I did with my dad, which was months ago now, but did this guy, skip this one, have all my hoses cut. Kind of skip this one. I have like a little temporary thing back there with the sunflowers, but have my hoses cut. And then this one's done. You can see the lines in there. That one's off, but if I show you my fancy app. Okay, let's water it manually for just a minute. Boop. Just like that. I'm still working on the kinks, but it's getting there. Hello. 
Chicago Plus. Okay, hopefully it works. All right, back home, making myself one of the factors for lunch. I know Steven already told you guys all about them, but this peanut Buddha bowl is like so fantastic. I've been looking forward to it all day because I had one of these um, day before yesterday and it was so good. Errands went well. Um, I forgot to film it, but we did in fact make it to our fourth stop of uh, picking up the prescription. So checked off everything on the list. We got the Buddha bowl. It comes with this peanut sauce too. So good. Get my water filled up. Um, and I think after I eat my lunch here, I wanna do a little unboxing. I have like the most random assortment of packages, but I don't know, some, some fun stuff to show you guys and I've been meaning to get to it. So uh, why not, why not now? Seems like a good time. <laughs> okay, random packages. I just realized I didn't get anything to open them with. Hold. Let's start with this one. Okay, so one of my favorite baby things, well, really more like toddler things with Grace um, was the Tush Baby. It's this like hip carrier thing that just like absolutely saved my back when Grace was in that stage of like, getting bigger, but still wanting to be carried a lot. And they recently released uh, what's called the snug attachment for the Tush Baby, which basically takes it from just being a hip carrier to being a full hands-free baby carrier, which I think is such a great idea. So that is what this is. You can see how it like attaches to the Tush Baby and then goes like around your baby to give them like the structure and security of a carrier. But with that helpful weight distribution of the Tush baby seat, which I already have. So here it is out the box. I'm really excited to use this when Alice gets a little bit older. Right now she's too small for it, but the baby Catan like soft carrier wrap that I was using today, that is like fantastic for this stage. I wouldn't even want to use anything else. This one you can use from 12 pounds, which we're not far off from, but I'll probably wait to use this until Alice has like more neck control, but the fabric feels super nice. I think this is a great idea. I've been eyeing it for a while and then uh, actually on like TikTok shop, they were having a big sale and I had a coupon on top of that. So it ended up being like less than $30 with shipping and everything. So excited to have this. I feel like especially for things like Disneyland, if I'm going solo with both kids, that's gonna be really great to have. Next up. <laughs> I have a package from ThreadUp. There, there's a story with this. So Grace's birthday is coming up. She's gonna be turning three next month. And for her birthday, she wanted to have a tangled party. So we were talking about, you know, all of the decorations and the activities she wants to do and what she wants to wear. And she was like, mom, I want you to dress as Eugene. I want you to be Eugene for my birthday, which is Flynn Rider. If you haven't seen Tangled, that's this man right here. Grace got like really excited about the idea of me dressing up like Flynn Rider. And I was like, you know what? His outfit's pretty easy. Like, I think I have most of that stuff in my closet. Just like a white t-shirt and some brown pants, brown boots. I was like, really the only thing I need is a blue vest. So I started looking on ThreadUp and I found the one thing that I need so that I can in fact dress as Flynn Rider for Grace's birthday. <laughs> Isn't this cute? I feel like I'll actually wear this too, outside of it being my my little costume for her birthday. It's like Flynn Rider, but make it boho. <laughs> Super cute, it's got the little tie, the little lace trim. Okay, I actually love this. I'm super excited about this. Gonna get this washed. Next up are some burp cloths. I'm like 90% sure that's what's in this bag, yep. More burp cloths. I thought we had a lot of burp cloths and uh, turns out it is still just not enough. We just go through them so quickly. We just go through like so many a day and we kept finding ourselves over and over being like, where's a burp cloth? Oh my gosh, there aren't any. <laughs> Even though we're doing laundry like pretty frequently right now, it's just like spit up central in this stage, which is why I am uh, no longer in my cute skirt. <laughs> if you can see, I, I had to have a wardrobe change, which happens all the time, but cute little Disney burp cloths. These ones are Bambi. So cute. Gotta throw these in the wash as well. And hopefully that'll be enough of a buffer that we are uh, not finding ourselves needing a burp cloth, but not having any clean burp, burp cloths quite as often because that is not a fun time. <laughs> All right, 
This package has these little tiny baby headphones that I ordered, baby hearing protection, because we are going to my little brother's college graduation. And uh, I feel like things like that tend to be pretty loud. And I wanna make sure we have ear protection on hand if we need it. Maybe it won't be that loud and we won't need it, but I'd rather have this and uh, not use it than need it and not have it. We already have a pair of like ear protection headphones for Grace. So we'll bring those too just in case. But for Alice, we needed something a little bit smaller. And these ones have like the soft headband that wraps around to keep them in place. And then my last package, I was influenced. <laughs> this is a package from Crocs. I got the new Crocs platform sandals. How freaking cute are these? Oh my gosh. And they're Crocs, so they're gonna be like the most comfortable ever. I am so excited about these. I, I like I said, I was influenced. I saw Miss Remy Ashton posting about these. She went to like a Crocs influencer event and she was posting about these shoes and I was like, oh my gosh. I want to have those right now. <laughs> and I'm really excited about these. I think they're so cute. And I think I'll actually wear them because they're comfortable, they're Crocs. When it comes to shoes, especially, I am like so picky. I want everything to be super comfortable and cushy and wide and not have a heel, which is why like pretty much every day I'm either in my white sneakers or my Birkenstocks. But I think these add a, a little something different to my wardrobe and will still fit my uh, comfort requirements. So thank you, Remy, for blessing my feed with these because I'm very excited. Okay, that's everything. I'm gonna clean up this trash, see if there's a load of laundry that I should start and throw the burp cloths and the Flynn Rider vest in with. So yeah, that is my super random unboxing. Th thanks for joining me. <laughs> Okay, I'm wearing the Crocs, can confirm it is indeed like walking on a cloud. They're so, so comfy, even more comfy than I expected. And they're nice and wide. These, the, these were a good buy. It is hours later at this point. The good news is I did finish the garden. I was stressed because I was running out of time. We got everything in, everything's ready to go. I'm ready for Sierra to plant. There they are. You can see the water from me testing it. Now this one has the real ones. We're looking good. I got more water in the pool. And I think that's it. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. All right, Bella, let's go. All right, I'm out in the garden. I'm gonna do uh, some planting of the seedlings that we bought today and uh, apply the sluggo stuff to hopefully rid ourselves of this pest problem so that the garden can thrive. Cause I really wanna have a good garden this year. Shout out to Steven for doing all the irrigation. But you can see we've got our carrots and radishes here that survived well. I planted onions in the back here. I actually tried to plant them twice. One says seeds, another time I transferred like 30 little seedlings back there they all got eaten i think there's like yeah there's like one little onion sprout that has somehow managed to survive this is where the cantaloupes were that got mowed down sunflowers back here though these are doing good and they are getting close to blooming you can see all like the little buds at the top this is gonna be beautiful this bed here i planted flowers here never sprouted milkweed seedlings never took this is supposed to be the butterfly garden bed and then this bed the only thing that survived are some of these marigolds in the middle. There were a couple more that the bugs got to. You can see this one recently got all chewed up, but it's still got the little stalk there. This is where I'm gonna be transferring the tomato seedlings that we got today. I also tried planting flowers in the front actually twice. They never sprouted. I think it's the bugs. So I'm gonna try to, to plant some more uh, flowers by seed here. So let's start with the cantaloupe here. We'll water them in, tomatoes. Oh my God, literally caught in the act. Do you see it? There's two roly polies going to town on my marigolds. Confirmed. Oh my God, there's three. Oh, and a fourth one on the other side. I knew it. All right, finish the tomatoes. Let's water them in. A nice deep water for our new plants. 
All right, and now before I do uh, the seed planting, we're gonna go in with some of this. So it's just these little pellets. I uh, followed the instructions, sprinkled it around the perimeter of the beds and at the base of each of the affected plants. All right, we'll see, see how that works. All right, and then my seeds, the onions and marigolds, I am gonna seed start indoors and then transfer them. Onions are like the easiest thing to start indoors. I'll show you uh, when we go over there. And then the marigolds, I wanna be able to transfer as seedlings so that I can pick the best ones to fill out uh, all, all our little gaps where I wanted like a clean row of marigolds. So it makes more sense to seed start these ones. And then these yellow flowers that Grace picked, I am gonna plant uh, in ground in the front of this bed right now. Look how big these seeds are. Oh my gosh. These are like the biggest seeds. Wow. Water them in. All right, now our other seeds. All right, these are for the marigolds. This is for the onions. Onions, you can just sprinkle an entire seed packet like this into one small container because they're so easily separated when they're in the seedling stage. Unlike other plants where their roots can get really tangled, these are super easy to just pull apart and they only really need space to grow once they're past the seedling stage when you're planting them in ground. So I'm just gonna fill this little tiny pot with potting soil, sprinkle all of the seeds in, and the onions are good to go. Okay, there were kind of a lot, so I decided to split them between two pots. Now we water them in, and they're good to go. And that is all my gardening for today. So um, I'm gonna go start dinner. I had told Steven like, cause he's playing with Grace. I was like, I'll get Alice whenever she wakes up. I'm just gonna go garden for however long I can until she's up and she still hasn't woken up. So I just kept gardening. <laughs> um, but I just checked the clock and it's almost 6.30. I have book club at seven. So I'm gonna start dinner. Luckily I like prepped most of it yesterday. So it isn't actually a lot of cooking. So at the very least I can start it now before book club. My book club's just virtual this month. Sometimes we do it in person. Sometimes we do it on Zoom. Um, so I don't actually have to go anywhere. I just need to be sitting down at my laptop in 30 minutes, which is plenty of time to start this dinner. And then it'll just be ready at some point during my book club and I won't get to eat with Stephen and Grace and Alice. Well, I always get to eat with Alice. <laughs> Pretty much always, unless it's uh, Stephen's night and he's up giving her a bottle in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm rambling. What am I even talking about? Okay, let's start dinner. I'm glad I got all that gardening done though. That was great. We are preheating the oven to 375. All right, got myself all clean and changed. We are gonna make some stuffed bell peppers for dinner. I'm using this recipe from Feel Good Foodie. I found it on TikTok. Made it quite a few times and it is just delicious. So I prepped the filling for it yesterday, which is like really most of the cooking for this because now I'm just gonna cut these bell peppers in half, fill them full, put some shredded cheese on top and then pop them in the oven, that's it. This is um, beans, corn, quinoa, onion. The recipe says to put tomatoes in it, but I did not this time. So slightly different, but equally as delicious. to put Alice to bed and go to bed myself. So that is gonna be it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.